that 2K lab, man. Check this out, man. Late night upload for y'all, man. I'm, I'm watching the Colorado game, man. And what I want to do is try to help you guys fix your jump shot or do some things to improve your jump shot. There are several things that can be done in order to improve the jump shot. Nobody's talking about them. I'm going to talk about them because I told y'all that I would earlier this week, man. And I just want to get this information out there as quickly to y'all as possible. Hit that like button if you need more information like this or more videos like this, man. But, hey, but you've been kept it solid. When you look me in the eyes, subtle tell I know you got it. When you do the sauce, make me want it a la carte. Caught me looking at it like the bullseye of the target. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video. Comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. So check it out. I did a dummy jump shot because I got a flavor jump shot. The one that I was using this morning, this one right here, hey, it's, it's raw. But we're going to give y'all this dummy jump shot. And if I'm shooting it in this video, look, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the makes and the misses. I'm just trying to show y'all something. But I can't give away my jump shot because I'm doing that jump shot video tomorrow. But y'all y'all hit the like button on this one. And, you know, we're going to hook y'all up, man. So, look, this is the real sauce to this thing right here. And I'm just going to give it out to y'all right now. Hit the like button. I gave it to you a minute in. Look, a lot of times we want this to be there. So it can be here. You know what I'm saying? You can have the highest release speed. Sometimes you need to dial this back. Now, when you dial it back, yes, you do lose some release speed in some cases. But there are some cases where, you you know what I'm saying, you can mix your jump shot. You can change it up, mix it down. Let's see. Look, look, we already got this. All Already got a maximum A plus over here. Let's go 45 here. Boom. So you can still dial it back and you can still have an A plus, right? But... It, it, it's, it's going to change your jump shot and how your jump shot looks. I have several, what I was, the part that I was saying that I can help a lot of y'all out with if you're 6'5 to 6'9. If you're 6'5 to 6'9, I have the releases that look very similar, but, and, and, and change the stats, you know, the, the releases, the Q and all of that will stay relatively the same. But, it's gonna change the speed of the jump shot so that you can do something. Tari Easton is one of the fastest ones that you can get. It is what it is. Like, like I said, you see, you see how we do that? It's an A. And then if I mix it more toward Tari Easton, it goes to A plus plus. So you saying, and I can still get an A plus, but I can pull it down one. This is something that you might want to be that you that you could be that you should be interested in. Because if you're missing up here with that A plus plus, but you still want an A plus, you might just need to dial it back a little bit. Not only will you keep your A+, plus, you will get some time and stability. And also, like I said, in some cases, you're going to get some, you, uh, you know, your defensive immunity normally isn't bothered by this, you know, the release speed. So they definitely were telling the truth with that. You're not going to lose that. You will get some time and stability. And sometimes that little bit of time and stability that you're going to gain is all you need, especially if you're somebody that dribbles the ball. Not so much if you're somebody like me that just catches and shoots, right? But I'm showing y'all that to show you this. Boom. Um, depending on the jump shot that you have and the base that you get, you can change it. You can change these things up and it's going to be, be good. The three releases that I go between when I'm trying to concoct the right jump shot, I really leave, I normally leave Scotty Pippen alone because I like how he brings it here, you know, to the front of his head. But the three releases that I like to use the most, Atari Eason, Sadiq Bay. see, look change it it looks very similar but it's a little faster right so i could do this and then i can still pull it down and then i can mix it more towards sadiq bay if i wanted to and still get my a plus if i wanted to but i'm gonna lose some defensive uh defensive immunity so we, you know what i'm saying that's 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 a trade-off for sadiq bay but it looks very similar and i can speed up jump shots like i want to and then uh louis hachimura probably one of the best releases in the game. Did you see that went up to an A there? And we still got our A plus. And so if I peel it back and then I mix it more toward Louis, you know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 it's so good, I can't even use the shot. But the whole point is you can you can mix mix it, match it, do what you want to. And you can still like, this still probably be an A minus right here. Let's see if we go back to, uh, go back to Scottie Pippen. What, 30, I think I had a 3961. That's how I like that to be. So if I wanted to be an A minus, I like A minuses myself, but I can go down here, go to this A minus. Let's say I'm using Louis Hachimura. It looks very, like I said, the, the biggest thing is I can change these speeds 
So the main thing is find you some releases that look very similar. And when you find your releases that look similar, you can use those in order to play with this in a way that you want to. So like I said, like, look, let's take, we're gonna, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with the Louis Hachimura, right? And I think we got it one tick down. So coming out here with the JR spliff. And uh, yeah, let me see if I can shoot as soon as I get in, like I'm JR Smith. See, you always gonna miss the first one. It doesn't matter. I don't know if they use that to calibrate you or what, bro, but it is what it is. So I love using the Louis Hachimura. That's one, that's my favorite one because it gives me the most defensive immunity and it just, it just looks so good, right? It just looks good. But let's say if you were using this and I wanted a different time and I wanted to be a little bit faster and I wanted to arc on the shot or something like that. Like Louis, it probably wouldn't get me there. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? I lose a little, I'm gonna lose a little defensive immunity, but hey, I don't take cover shots anyway. So we're gonna go over here with Spliff again. I go over here to Sadiq Bay some days, some days, you know, I might want to, I might want to go up the ladder a little bit. Boom. Uh, then we will mix this with, some, you know, mix it a little bit with, we leave it, we can leave it right there with Sadiq, man. But with Sadiq, you know, I can, I can do this, you know, mix it down, bring it down a little bit. We lose a little defensive immunity, but you know what I'm saying? You gave me your time and stability. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Don't pay as much attention to that. Like I said, I just mixed it a little bit more, right? It's going to look relatively the same and I'm going to still be able to hit it. The biggest thing is find you some release, find you a couple of releases that you like to go between and then use that so you can play with the, the release speed because the release speed, you might have, look at that, hit the first one with Sadiq, right? It looks exactly, it, 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 even though the releases and stuff look different, the actual shot looks the same. So you can come in here and change it up and then you can actually, uh, it, it just makes the shots more consistent. I don't know why, but not having it at max speed for some reason, like I said, improves that time and stability. And then, like I said, here, I lost a little defensive immunity, but the shot looks the same. In this case, it looks a little bit easier to time, right? Like even from here with Sadiq. Okay, maybe not from there with Sadiq. I think I was out of my range, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But I think y'all understand what I'm saying. Try it, try it out. Try to, try to find a release or, or a couple of releases that are a little bit different uh, that, are, that, are, that look really the same, but they give you good stats, right? Give you good speed, good stats, and then find it and see if you can if you can take it down a couple of ticks. This is gonna help you fix any jump shot. Like like I've I, if you like I said if you six five to six nine, I've already done the work for you. I can't do the work for you if you're not six five to six nine, man. But this is gonna help you fix any jump shot. Like I said, go over here to Tari Easton. Do the same type of thing. Boom. It's gonna be an A. You're gonna get some more defensive immunity. Boom. We can we can play with this. We can have it as an A plus if we want to. We might not even want it as an A plus. You know what I'm saying? We might just want it to be here. And uh and, and it's like, okay, okay, so I'm looking at Tari. He he doesn't take it up as high as I want him to. Boom. Come over here to uh, you know, 69, whatever. And then so now it's up in front of his forehead a little bit more. Boom. Go over here play with Tari. I got it one tick down still so I can have it where I want it to be. And uh and boom, like I said, this is this this is gonna it's just gonna help you out a lot, man. I'm I like I said I don't understand why or what it is, but when I'm shooting shots, see hit the first one there. When I'm shooting shots that are not sped all the way up, my shot became way more consistent. And like I said earlier this week with that jump shot video, I kind of gave away a little bit of that sauce, but that's why I, I, that's why uh, I, I discovered that like last week or something like that. I just discovered that these joints appear to be way more consistent when you when you take it down at least one tick. So give it a shot. Let me know if they help you out a lot, man. I'm telling you, I think this can help you fix any jump shot. If you're not 6'5", if you are 6'5", to 6'9", and you got a similar three ball to me, you can use Tari Eason, Sadiq Bey, Louis Hachimura. I like them in that order. I like, I like Tari Eason last, Sadiq Bey, uh, second, and I like Louis Hachimura first. I've done the work for you, but if not, you gonna have to go through and find some of the jump shot releases that look the same and that can that can do that for you. But even if not, try to mix it up a little bit different. Take it down at least one tick. Tell me what happens for y'all, man. Let me know if that helps y'all a lot. And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby.